So in the uh, last installment of the dimension tool, we uh, we looked at examples where you actually have to dimension something that isn't part of your product because uh, it's an it's an important dimension in the process of building the piece, and that's also true here. Now you can see we've got this part and it's uh, pretty odd looking. It's got quite some angles and it's got some holes and it also has this radius. Now there's a couple of uh, dimensions that are still missing from that, and that is first of all what this radius is. Well, actually, I've already put it on, it's 800. Um, but the other thing that we haven't done yet is, well, some is think about the process by which this is going to be made. Now, if you think about this, somebody's going to actually get this piece of wood on the bench in the workshop, and then they're going to have to find a point. Well, you see that's 800. They're going to have to find a point somewhere over here, um, about 800 millimeters away, where they need to put in their compass so they can draw this curve, so they can then cut that um, curve into the piece of wood. Now, if you uh, want to do that, that's going to be uh, pretty tricky uh, if you don't have a center point to put that. So how are we going to do that? Well, we can do that fairly easily by starting off by doing some guidelines. Now, first of all, I'm going to find a guideline and I'm going to put I'm going to run, as I draw the guideline, run along this edge, as you can see. And you can see right over here, just, just below where it says 670, it's actually telling me where the center point of that radius is, you can see. And as I move my cursor across, the guideline moves across in steps until there's one point where it actually goes directly through that center. So I'm going to leave my guideline here, and I know that the guideline, that the center of that radius is now right here where it says centering component. That means I can take another guideline from the red axis and I'm going to move across to here and I'm going to, where it's the center of the component again, I'm going to put that and make an intersection with the previous guideline. Now I have a point that I can dimension to. So I can take my now take my dimension tool and from my reference point I'm going to I'm going to tell my person manufacturing this piece that they need to put their compass in if I can actually find that there you go this far away from the end and this far away from the edge now in order to get that dimension clear what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this dimension and move it, so I can just take the move tool and just drag that outside a little bit. Take this dimension and go back to the move tool and just drag that a little bit outside there. And now it's clear that the center point of that radius is at 185, 181.5 from the, that corner and 335 millimeters in which is confirmed, of course, by the fact that 335 is half of 670, so that's exactly in the middle of that. So now I have a fully dimensioned uh, drawing, which enables somebody to draw this radius accurately in the workshop.